So let me ask you, como estas? This is a very simple question, right? I ask you, como estas? Okay, maybe here, or I can say, como esta, right? I need the Portuguese keyboard. Uh, so I need this if I say como esta or como estas okay this one why we use esta can anyone answer me if you answer it will be easy for me that what you understand or not so that I can go slowly I want you to be very whoever are you here then you will never ask the question on star and share Bob I am going to explain you on that way and uh, I hope uh, you will get it and you will thank you Sangeeta you will understand it como esta why you we use como esta what the esta means here that is the first question we have to ask okay actually it means como bose esta right actually it means como bose esta that is the way we ask the question but we can ask instead of we can also ask como você a this is also a question right como você a this is also a question these both are questions right we can ask in a both way that both means in english how are you right this both means in english it both means how are you if we talk about the english right but you all heard that when we meet we we always ask como esta if I uh, don't use or if I, uh, for example, mute the word Bose, for example, let me mute it. Okay, the, this, um, I mean, um, color means it, I'm muting it. Okay, so you can say como esta is also how are you. And como Bose a or como a also means, you can say it's also, you can say how are you, right? Uh, it's the short form or you can say whatever but we use esta because esta is a these are the two verbs which are to be verbs we can say in English right in English we can say they are the to be verbs that means they are the auxiliary verbs right they helps to identify the statement they helps a statement to ma un make it understandable so these are the auxiliary verbs normally so if we this both mean how are you but in english we have only one word right uh, that is r in in this case we can say that is r but in portuguese we have two different way to say uh, one is using esta and one is using a so this esta is a verb right this is a verb and this esta is a verb of star verb that is the main root verb of the this one okay so if i go here and if i draw something from here and this is the the full form or uh, sorry the main root verb is a star for this one right okay and if i go to the this one i'm sorry i'm very bad in drawing okay so I can say this is called the share verb, which is, is this do two verbs are today's our main topic, right? So first we have to understand that these are the auxiliary verbs, or we can say these are the uh, to be verbs in English, like in to be verbs in Portuguese. Uh, sorry, and these verbs are very important because they help us to. Uh, make the statement meaningful right but here is the question why we use is the and why we need two different verbs for for the same thing right so here is the first point before I do conjugation first point you have to always remember uh, when you are starting uh, your Portuguese learning that is the we use for the temporary situation okay we use for the temporary situation right we use this uh, esta verb for the temporary situation this is very important to understand and uh, when we need to talk about the permanent situation we use ser verb right 
we mean if we ask someone someone how are you or how is someone uh, we understand that we we want to know that at the moment when we are talking about him or her how he is that's why instead of saying como você é we use como você está but uh, while speaking this você is muted so we just say como está right if we are using você and if we are using tu we say como estás right you are clear on this this is very simple and straightforward right or if you have any confusion on this you have two minutes to ask me about this then i will go to the next step okay you are clear on it and now let's try to answer this question okay ser and star these are the two be verbs of portuguese uh, first let me ask you if you can answer the above two questions right the first one is vivo in france right as i told you that this is for the very beginners and if there are some very beginners and if they do, don't understand what vivo in france means uh, you can ask there and comment the first question and then we will discuss why and in what other conditions we can use these two verbs right uh, that is uh, that is today's um, uh, discussion point we can say uh, that's what today we are learning okay guys yo vivo in france means I live in France, right? And now vo a scola oj means I am not going to school today, right? This is the reason, that is the statements, right? And now uh, I want to say the same things around like more or less. And I want to say that I from Portugal, right? Definitely I am from Portugal in English, it's very easy. And yo doent means definitely I am sick. But here this both are we feel uh, this both needs the m in english right here in both case we need uh, the m right if you see all the conjugations here what yo means if you say this yo refers to here if you see it refers to i right this yo refers to i so that means if i say there these are the pronouns i think you know it or if not then we will know it here we will learn pronouns and uh, the star and said verbs together okay so if you say here yo means i and tu means you and bose also means you l and l that is he right he l means uh, uh, y and l means girl if you want to talk about someone say it's girl or woman or any objects or any names that are feminine we use l and if the person is boy i mean male or any masculine objects we can use l right and l means they and l means also they it is the same that is the group right if uh, they are the groups of uh, the boys or the masculine words or masculine names we use ls and if they are the group of girls or the feminine words we use ls right and here if uh, here one another thing for the very new or the for the beginners to be uh, to understand is that if we if we don't know either the group is feminine or masculine we we don't know right because like for example there are seven people and we don't know either they are girls or they are boys at that time we normally in most of the cases you see this and we use the ls that means we think it as a masculine group i mean we don't think actually grammatically we say that l we use ls okay be clear on it right and you know nos means we right and if you want to use you all that is called bosses it is the same as else right if you want to use bosses bosses means you all it is uh, on the group of else and else right at at this point you are clear because it is very important to know because after this i will uh, i will uh, have some five six situations where we will use it if you are very clear on this point then it is easy for me okay so you are clear on this right 
so let's uh, uh, let's make a simple conjugation don't focus and don't try to memorize it but just make a common sense or like mean common understanding i'm so sorry for what common sense i don't mean to say that what i mean is just make a common understanding right now make just an image if you are very new because i again say this all of my videos all of my classes are for beginners okay uh, not for the advanced maybe some of you are even better than me so here if i go yo if we use share verb we use so right yo so i am and if we use a star verb or a star verb whatever is pronunciation is, uh, you can use and we go to sto right you sto and if we go to to we use s right to s let me draw maybe more comfortable uh, if you, we use to that is s right or you can say if you use a star verb to estas a bit clear on it okay uh, and if you use for say a because you see this a lots of times when we learn portuguese uh, there is a e and it has a cap right and if you use a uh, it's if you want to say that you are then you have to use Jose Esta if you if you use the star verb right you are you are getting it right guys sorry ma'am depends on what you mean you don't understand this okay Sangeeta okay there are still two confusion right so let me explain it again if you want to use uh, if you want to use because star and share verb technically we use for the same thing but uh, the the idea i mean the situation is different right but for now just understand that if you want to use share verb and if you want to talk about yourself that means i you say yo so and if you want to use a star verb don't don't worry if you are um, a bit confusing it will be clear after some examples we use yo sto right and similarly if you want to say you are if we use share verb we say to s right and if you want to use a star verb you say twistas that we already see when we say como estas right como estas when we say como estas we say that oh, hola como estas hola bonite pertima and bonite at um tatu and if you use voce if we use voce if you want to use ser verb you say voce a and if you want to use star verb you will say for say esta and if you want to use for him or uh, sorry for he or she that means l you got it depends on that's good that's good thank you l and l if you want to say he is uh, if you want to use uh, say he is you can use either l a or l esta it's the same thing for now but when we use this we will talk it later right if you want to say they are you can say either l s Uh, sound or you can say alas is town when you see this okay let's practice something here uh, why we need essence if you see this one if you say an a in sound and if you see uh, this head here right if you see that things in any words try to make the nozzle sound okay it's, it's go to the nozzle sound it's like i okay sangeeta you also got it that's great so it's not the sound it is sound because you go to the nozzle okay my nozzle is not good maybe you can pronounce better and if you see here so this is not istau it is istau be always careful here with this okay if we go to nos we can say no somos if this you want to use share verb right don't worry that when we use we'll talk it later okay just try to understand the conjugation way if you want to say we are and you want to use a estamos verb we use nos Okay guys until here clear right I am sure you are clear and now we will start learning that when we use share verb and when we use a star verb the first and most you all know that we use share verb to say something about the permanent situation right whatever is permanent and you want to say somebody that it is with you or it is uh, uh, it is uh, that means it is with you like we can say or it is yours condition or situation or your location 
whatever that is permanent that's why we use yes yes Pratima, you are right in temporary action but there are also other ways okay uh, we use star buffs but normally the two situations if it is the permanent situation or character we use share verb and for the temporary situation we use star verb and if we if we misplace these verbs that means where we have to use share verb and if we use star verb that may give the different meaning and that may uh, that that can that may not express what you actually want to uh, communicate with others or which you actually want to say am i right so here let's see if you say l a altu right l a altu altu means tall he is tall that means it's yeah I, I i will explain don't worry okay this is just the first stage i will show you the examples and i will try to uh, do the, some errors here and i will say what it means and it will help you to know that why shouldn't we have to do this error okay so here if you say one example l a alto okay i i already told you that we don't learn only one thing we always learn two or three things together that's why we can uh, that's how we can speed up our learning thank you kesu for sharing this live so here if you go with l that means he right if i have to translate it in uh, english or if i have to say it l means someone uh, who is about whom we are talking who is not uh, nearby us but we are talking about someone right if i talk about the like here hasib ullah then i will say hasib ullah is a good person and then i say he so l a alto means for example there is a very very let me okay let me find one good we have lots of time today so i will go very slowly if you don't understand please just type there okay okay let's see here Let's see who is the tallest guy there. Yeah, or L A Bonita or L L A L A Bonita no, L A Bonitu, or you can say L A Bonita, right? <laughs> I know it's, it's it's the just the typing mistake probably, or sometimes we get confused. That's why we need some practice, right? Okay, I will I, you will see it. Just I am trying to take it out from here. Okay here suppose this is uh who is here as for example uh this is uh, mr dipendra okay this long one so what i say dipendra or we can uh, if i have more respect because i love to do respect the people thank you Uras, for sharing this live if i say senor dipendra a altu right i can say instead of l a altu i can say here that senor Depend a alto right senor dipendra a alto right if i i if i have to make even a, a better expression or even a better way the in real life way how i can say senor dipendra a what i can say we uh, what you do dipendra uh, alto mas you so by so exactly correct mandip senor dipendra a what what is his profession can you say me let's say for now uh, teacher professor okay that's good senor dipendra a professor right so if we don't repeat senor dipendra again and again because it gives it makes the talking uh, a little bit uh, not very comfortable right or so what we do is we replace that senor dipendra to L. So L is the pronoun, right? Pronoun. What pronoun does? Pronoun simply replaces the noun. So here, this pronoun L replaces Sinor Dipendra because we are talking about Dipendra. So I say Sinor Dipendra, a professor, because it is his profession. His profession is permanent, right? It is not going to be changed. Today he is a teacher, and if even he he uh, if he if even he doesn't teach, but still he is a teacher. It's his. Thank you, Suyon, for sharing this live, and thank you, Rajib Dait. Okay, so Dipendra is a teacher. Whatever he does, or if he teaches or not teaches, that's the another thing. 
that is a temporary situation so if we have to say some permanent situation we use share verb and so here dipendra a professor means dipendra is a teacher and if he is tall right if he is tall then what we can say l a altu because why we use l if we say here l is ta altu let me say for example what it means can anyone explain me because i have to use use a or share verb but i say dipendra is ta altu what is the difference on the meaning i uh, is uh, uh, am i uh, able to express what actually i am going to say right grammatically it is correct there is no there is no error I, but what i want to express yeah he used to be short right or maybe after some time he will be short that means that's 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 that doesn't give the meaning am i right so we have to be very clear very clear if we need to talk about the person's permanent characters we use yeah we use a uh, share verb but here this one is the most important things is here uh, please uh, be uh, very focused on this one and uh, this one is a uh, very important that's why i keep this example here so mau i english right i want i am saying this right uh, that i am bad in english what is the difference if instead of using that uh, share verb if i use star verb here is the very very uh, big difference right if i say somebody is to mau i english and if i say so mau i english it gives the very different meaning to the person who is near by me or with whom i am talking what is the difference here right uh, what is the difference here if i say so mau in english or if i say so is to mau in english what is the difference can anybody explain me here please he is learning yeah actually if i say is to mau in english that means he, he may be learn or he may not be learning yeah so is not temporarily so is permanently okay is to is temporary okay un and so is at uh, not temporarily so is permanent so is permanent character okay so if i say so mau in english it uh, you are welcome uh, it means that i am really bad in english and i cannot improve it anymore right so if i go to interview and if i say so mau in english but actually what i, I want to say that i am bad in english but i am improving i have to use is to right you got it all until here yeah you are welcome you got it right if yeah thank you thank you mandeep i at least i want to see seven six or seven can't yeah can't english be improved yeah if i say so that means i can't improve anymore i tried my best but thank you mr oh lots of yes i am so happy today is my happiest day right i am happy that you are getting what i mean is if i say so mau in english that means i tried my best but i cannot improve anymore so please don't expect anything uh th thank you pinky so don't expect anything that i can improve on english if my this level english is okay for you that's okay i am going to do the job if you are looking for better english i am so sorry i cannot do but if i say is to mau in english that means that i am accepting that i am not good but i am improving is to mau in english we, we can add agora e is to aprender english para melhorar or you can say aprender english melhorar only right i i am learning english to make it even better so that is the difference between using thank you vinod okay now let's say if uh, you understand here right and let's say here nos somos amigos right we are friend what happens if i say nos estamos amigos if you say someone if you find a very very good friend 
Portuguese friend and you are enjoying uh, thank you Binod, you are enjoying time with him and instead of saying nos somos amigos if you say nos estamos amigo or normally uh, in confusing word if you say tu es meu amigo tu es meu amigo right if you use this word tu es meu amigo uh, instead of saying tu sorry tu uh, estas meu amigo tu estas meu amigo instead of saying tu es meu amigo uh, will uh, what he will respond now you now tain you know you now tain is cola ta bhai so online vamos tentar okay if instead of saying tu es meu amigo that means uh, this is the share verb right and if you say tu estas meu amigo what will be the response from your portuguese friend will he be happy or will he be sad he will be sad right because you are you are saying that you are my friend for maybe today not for tomorrow i meet you today okay very good friend thank you very much right and if you say tu es meu amigo he will think that okay tomorrow also we will meet and we are for friend for long time yeah it shows the situation of the character right so normally if uh, you want somebody to say that uh, you are a good friend you cannot say tu estas a uh, bom amigo tu estas a bom amigo you cannot say that okay because you have to say tu es a bom amigo though it 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 may be for a temporary situation but you have to use share verb right because friendship uh, we cannot okay you you lost here no worry i will tell you i, I will explain it i know that uh, for this let me copy only these words okay i only copy these words and then i go to the new page okay and i go here right and let me find uh, two people here just a moment if you don't see it all in the screen don't worry i'm just trying to explain something here to friends let me check this and if i can find okay here these are the two friends right and you met them each other for example a week ago uh, let's see just, just we are just imagining right uh, if you we meet you meet each other a uh, five days or six days ago okay and you can how can you say that you are my good friend right this is the question here how can you say that after two or three days maybe he helps you or maybe you meet in some places and you talk and you you say okay let's be friends because he likes maybe your culture and you likes maybe his culture and you are a friend and if you friend you have to express right um, because if you friend and you just sit and you don't talk then it doesn't it, it mean nothing so if you have to express and if you want to say him you are my good friend for example you want to say you are my good friend in english i type here and there are two ways to say one you can say that tu es meu amigo or you can say tu es meu bom amigo okay the bom means good don't worry about that words right now or if you can say tu estas meu bo amigo uh, what uh, which word you will use that is the question el e meu bo amigo mandip that's correct because you use share verb because even if you don't know that he you just know him two or three days before and you don't know vos e vos e meu bo amigo that's fine that's why it's the same thing i am using tu you are using voce that's the same thing uh, so here is concern is that if you use a voce or tu here is the concern is that if you use share verb or star verb okay our main focus is to tell what i mean to say that we normally say that for the temporary situation we use a star verb and for the permanent situation we use share verb but you make and um, you make a friend just for in four or five days if you want to say you are my good friend what should you use because just five days is a temporary right if you think but it is about the friendship because friendship normally means that it's for the ever friends once a friend is always a friend right so if you want to say something like this we have to use share verb okay yes yes that's great that's great you three yes yes 
yes four five six seven eight nine ten yes oh my goodness that's great that's great is it clear right so sometime it depends on the context yeah lots of it got it thank you thank you and let's go to the next situation okay when we use share verb what is the confusion we are still trying to understand mukendra don't worry if you don't uh, get it all i will uh, i will have the same uh, some examples a session in wednesday you can join there also and you have a specific confusion uh, just try to, if you don't get all just try to go forward with some examples and then you will understand okay don't worry if you don't understand at all then i can talk i can explain only you in some time don't worry on this but try to just understand okay that's good don't worry whatever you understand if you understand a bit that's fine don't worry day by day we will get it better and better okay guys so let's go now what is that uh, i was here if i see here uh, if we have to talk about here i said before right sinor dipendra a professor that means the uh, one profession so the next situation uh, Uh, no 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 star bob is coming star bob is coming okay don't worry if we talk about the nationality uh, our uh, date of uh, our place birthplace and anything that is not changed about the location where we live for a long time we can thank you dancers for for sharing this one we use uh, share verb right for her example el a cuzinero right el a Cousin, just a moment. Just take me this uh, marker, okay? Then I will off it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, el a cuzinero. This word cuzinero is a profession, right? That means cook. I just told before. Once you you have a profession, it doesn't matter if you are working right now or not. Your profession is your permanent property, right? It's always with you. Once uh, you know, uh, you. Uh, you, if you are professional for anything, that means uh, you are a specialist of anything. You are always doesn't mean if you do it at the moment or not, right? So if E says is, yeah, yeah, E says is, uh, yeah, E means is, right, right. Uh, you are right because if you is E means like here, okay. Let me clear. There are two ways to say. Uh, there are two ways to say you, right? One is voice. and one is tu and if we use voce for share verb it is a right it's not e actually it is a but i know you want to say that mukundra mukendra right and if we use tu we say yes right this is one of the different it 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 are the same thing these two are the same thing okay so if i say el e cuzinero that's perfect or i can say Uh, but for l there is only the a for l there there are not any other options but at least you what you mean is if you see that s that means i am talking i am using to for the uh, thank you mrs songs and for the profession right you got it right that's great that's great you know that's great e means and that is great bino thank you for helping okay so here i am talking about profession if you say just always try to change right always try to change the verb uh, put a star verb instead of share verb and let's see what it means what is the uh, result of that statement okay let's try if i say l as the cuzinero what it mean can you answer me please instead of saying l a cuzinero if i use the star verb then what it mean actually what is the difference between these two if i say Don't say my it is wrong, okay? It is not wrong. Grammatically, it's correct. L S the cuisineiro. There is no problem. But what is the different in the meaning? We can guess. He is cook now. That's good. That's good. That is one idea. Yeah, he is a cook now. What What is the difference between L A cuisineiro and L is the cuisineiro? if you, if anyone can uh, say me the exact meaning or one example where we can use it i have a gift for that answer okay just give me one example if you can 
both are correct grammatically there is no error you can use it but what is the difference only yeah 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 that's great current position of, of character and situation yeah, i know this is the yes this is kumar this is the this what i am looking for is how we can use this what this mean in what condition you will say el esta cozinero and in what condition you will say el a cozinero i know el esta doente i am not asking that one what i mean is what i am asking is when you use el esta cozinero and and when we use el a cozinero if you can just guess anything let me give you a simple example okay right now let's say i will pick one name from here please don't mind okay and let me take the name of badri bastola okay let me take the name of badri i'm sorry badri i can take your name right it's not for a bad reason just to give example okay can i oh my name mukundra okay that's great i need some of this is is thank you mukendra i will take your name that's great so let me say i will find here mukendra okay mukendra on my computer hey mukendra can you please come Oh, the, I, uh, there are lots of Mukendras here, but I don't find just a moment, guys. Uh, let me find one person. One person. I will search on my system. Okay, if I have here, and I am not sure if Mukendra is handsome or not. Uh, looks handsome, right? Okay. Now I find Mukendra here. Okay. This is very important. Okay, <laughs> you are you are you are you are smiling. That's great, Mukin. Thank you very much. Okay, take my name. Okay, thank you. So, what this means is, I invite Mukendra to my house. Okay, Pelal. Everybody, listen. It. This is very example. No, I know, I know, I know. Manish, uh, what uh, I mean is, uh, I I I think I'm sorry that you don't get what actually I am trying to ask you. Right? It is very important. Right? you know that it's very easy to say that we use ser verb to the in the permanent situation we use star verb for the temporary situation you all know it i am here i, I know it right so you can say that i can use uh, um uh, ser verb for the profession and for when i am sick i will use star that's fine i i know you we all know that right what i mean is when you can say l esta cozinero and when you can say l a cozinero okay so let me give you example okay here i am with this example okay is it okay guys okay mr this one is i don't take a name right now i invite one person in my house okay in my house i invite somebody Uh, for example mukendra right i invite mukendra to my house he is my friend right and mukendra came to my house and i also invited uh, some rafael and crazy boy and janu and sangeeta and 10 or 12 person i invite all of them and i invite some more friends to my house right and when it's time uh, to give the food or uh, when i serve the food and they ask me oh it's so tasty who made it right who made it it's really nice and i show it to mukendra right i'm sorry mukendra and i say el esta cozinero right i say el esta cozinero he is a cook like we say that if somebody come to house he say hey it's so delicious who is who made this i said oh mr this is a cook so i say that el esta cozinero mukendra esta cozinero right no it's 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 perfect but uh, not a uh, agora el esto yeah i can that means that he is not a profession by cook but today he cook for us got it right and if i say el e cozinero if i say mukendra esta cozinero that means he is not a profession but today he cooked it and for today he is a cook is it okay guys you got it i want 5 years yeah 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 oh you all got that's great that's great that's great thank you very much guys you understand i'm happy i don't under i don't understand is the i will i, do, I have more examples don't worry okay uh, here in this case if you say el esta cozinero that means professionally he never cooked but for today he is a cook 
right? It, it is not his profession. That if you are looking for a cook in your restaurant, he is not a suitable candidate, right? But he really cooks very nice, very good today. He cooked. But if you say El E Cujinairo, that means he is a professional cook. His profession is cook and today also he is cooking. I think it makes a bit sense, right? Now, okay, if you don't, I will, we, we have more practice sessions and we will understand if you don't understand it, okay? Yeah, that means if I am a permanent cook at this time, I have to use it. But if I had cooked one, then I have to use Ista. Very good, Mukendra. Oh my goodness, you helped me a lot today. Thank you, thank you very much. That's what, that's, that's exactly, that's exactly what you mean. Let me, uh, this is a bit important. Uh, let me uh, make one uh, duplicate page or I want to add a new page. And if I say you so do Nepal, right? And I can ask you that where are you from? Where are you from? How can I ask where are you from? You can simply say as the one. This is the most easy way to ask, okay? The one this you can also use, that is the better way. But in formal way, you can say just as the one, or you can say the one this, right? The one as, or you can say. Uh, the on the a is the same thing right this is if you use voce don't go on uh write it yeah was they want the voce a. that's uh, that's different ways to say while we uh, on the voce is is different thing that means uh where are you right now right if anyone that but that is very good question mukendra thank you very much to remind me otherwise i may miss that just answer what i am asking okay uh, and so that it will be use a very simple and very small sentence if i am asking you are you hungry you just answer me that yes i am hungry or no i am not hungry okay don't answer me that yes i am hungry i want to eat chicken chili and then i have to go to that restaurant i like that restaurant i then the restaurant is in orient and can you please go don't go on this long sentence we do lots of errors okay so if I ask you, are you hungry? Just say, yes, I am hungry. You're so conform. You're so conform. Like this is wrong, right? That's how we learn Mandip. Thank you very much for your, your that comment, right? You're so conform is wrong word, okay? Uh, it, it, I mean, we normally never use it. Grammatically, it is correct if you check. But you have to say, you is so conform because you cannot be hungry for the all your life. Yo estano. If you use yo, you have to use esto. That's why we are practicing here. Today I'm very happy. We are just focusing on the same content and we are trying to learn there. That's great. So yo sto conforma. But here my question, I, I again forget the question, right? But thank you very much. This is a good learning. I love it. I love it, Mandip. You you make you make me remind this one. Okay. If I say I have two questions for you. And for example, first I will ask the question and I will answer myself. And then you answer the question in the same format that I answer you. Okay, guys. Cheers. Or you are tired. If you are tired, you can take a break for five minutes. You can dance. You can sing whatever you like. But if you want a joke, maybe I can say some jokes for you. I'm, but I'm not, not in a mood of joke today anyway. Okay. So, but here I ask you two questions. They own the A and, or you can say they own this, that is the same thing. And I ask you, own the estas, right? Don't be confused in these two questions. If you uh, listen or if you somebody ask you, what is the answer? If I have to answer these two separate questions, I say, Uh, just I am just saying that I am hungry yes or no okay so I just say okay I don't know any Portuguese right now okay I don't know to say how to say you so do Nepal or whatever they own there if you don't know anything at least you can say where from which country you are right and I have also given you idea on my video right if you don't know to use the full words then you can say your capital city right you so the Kathmandu if I say you so do Kathmandu that's fine because I don't need to check do da di di it's very easy right it's not you so do Portugal a real sagar it's you so the Portugal d e d you so the Portugal okay so if I say the own the I say Nepal own the istas I say Isto, oh no, sorry, I don't, I don't know the words, right? I just say kaja, okay? This is my answer. So now, 
uh, you give me the answer the on the a on the stars okay guys is it okay you is doing color that is perfect mr kesu it's messy lover hospital <laughs> okay yes to a mercado mercado that's great uh, thank you parmila nirola you so do nepal great agora you is doing kaza great uh, now again i can ask on the on the a to a kaza on the a now i use a right now i use on the a sorry my portuguese keyboard where is my portuguese keyboard uh, okay that's how we learning mr kesu uh, i will I, i i want to correct you okay on the a be careful okay i will correct you on the a to a casa for example i ask you now because here i use a because the house not going to move right meu casa and the casa is the feminine word Let's, uh, don't uh, don't worry on this this is simple that's why i am asking is the minna kaza for mandeep okay and for kesu yo uh isto if you want to say because you are now you have to say ai portu okay uh, yo isto ai loja that's okay it's na loja but that's fine is to ai loja for now that's great minna kaza e ai tavira great that's that's you understand this Um, I, okay, thank you. You are welcome, Kesu. I'm very, very happy to help you. Uh, you saw the Madeira Ireland, not Ireland or Ireland. I think Ireland. Anyway, that's go. It's not our scope. Okay, now it's fifty. Let's start the second session. Here, I go. If we we need to, uh, we want to talk about the time and date. We use ser verb, right? You got it. You saw the lorry now. Okay, that's great. Uh, if you want to uh, talk about the time and date, we use a uh, ser verb. We always say "oj e terza feira." We don't say "oj esta terza feira." That is totally error. Okay, it's not about uh, that. Okay, it's temporary or permanent. Here it is a direct error. So we have to say "oj e terza feira" because we are talking about the day. today is tuesday right similarly if you want to talk about the time sao says the tard right ke hora ke hora sao agora sao 19 e 51 so sao means is we sao we will use it later again but what i mean is if you talk about the time you have to use ser verb okay here i have mentioned that Do you know uh, do you now have some idea about using the ser verb right can we move to star verb great let's go and we are now for star verb right so in star verb you say here in this part that yo esto to star we will make it very clear with examples later on okay if not today then in wednesday don't worry so if we talk about the temporary situations we use star verb right is to confirm great and that's great sangeeta you are smiling that's good okay so if i say i am tired that means let me write here full word for you because this is for the very beginners so i don't want to make you confused yo is to cansado That means uh, normally just understand that if you want to say I am fresh, I am good now, I am happy now, right? Sto felis, I am happy. Anything you feel uh, that is not for the always, that is for some time. You you star verb. Okay. Now when we Jai uh, Buddha, and when we use uh, when we uh, we want to say sto con sono yes, sto con dor, sto con medo. That's good. and when you will talk about that uh, your illness right if you are sick then you use isto or star verb or if you want to talk about others you, you have to that means all star verb eu estou tu estás el el você está elas elas estão and nós estamos if you are sick because you are sick right now but immediately after you will be good right after some days uh, you will uh, no more sick you will be great you will be good so if you say Yo, uh, el está doente. Look here. Here is also find out the difference. Always try to find out the difference. 
Yeah, it's both are correct. Yeah, your isto means it's the full word, and isto means normally when speaking we mute the pronoun. Okay, so we just say isto. If we say isto, that means you have to understand that it is your isto. Okay, Mukendra, you got it. Like we, yeah, like I said it before, como bose esta, or you can say como esta, right? We mute bose because bose is pronoun, right? So uh, como esta and como bose esta is same thing. Como estas and como tu estas is same thing. So similarly here, yo isto and isto is same thing. Yo do yo tainu, you can say or uh, yo yo tainu. This is the another another situation we will talk it about later. But here what I mean is, el esta duente. If you say this is the star verb. If you say el e duente, what is the difference? Both are correct here, okay? Both are correct, but we rarely use el eduent. But sometimes we we may need to use it. But el esta duent is perfect. What is the difference between these two? Yes, yes, that's that's correct, Mandip. If I say el eduent, el eduent means he has some permanent illness, right? That cannot be. That cannot be right. Uh, uh, treated or it will go for the very long, 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 long time. Okay, but whatever it's very we use very rarely. Okay, so we normally use el esta duende because we always expect that he will be good. But instead of if we say that if you go here, if you if you 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 have the job interview and if you go and you say that yo so duende, you will not qualify, right? That means uh, you are always sick. So you have to say yo esta duende, right? I am I am not well right now. I am sick, but. I will be good very soon. Okay. Another example here is estamos ocupados, right? This also tells the temporary situation, right? Estamos ocupados. That means we are. If we uh, if we use the full word, that is nos estamos ocupados, right? We can say this. Nos estamos ocupados. That means we are busy now, but we are, we will be busy for some time. Nos estamos ocupados agora because here we don't need agora because we say estamos right. But if you say nos estamos ocupados agora, that means you are at the time of talking. You are busy. You are not going to be busy for the whole time. If you say nos somos ocupados, that means they are always busy. You never have time with. Them okay, guys. You got it right. You don't need to got all. Just make a concept because uh, in Wednesday, if we will play with some words, it will make you even more clear. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing, Mukendra. Nos estamos is the full word, and estamos means it automatically says that nos. Okay, and I thought this will also will do the next day. Maybe it's very long, and so the last one I said that if you want to talk about the. Current location or current position, right? If we talk about the permanent location, that means uh, where we burn. Uh, what is your um, uh, what is your nationality? We use uh, uh, ser verb. But if we talk about something temporary or the current location, we use uh, star verb, right? El está en casa. He is at home. Like we already have lots of examples there. When I ask you. O e o livro está e o livro está na mesa, right? The book is on the table because now the book is on the table. But after some time, I can take it out and I, it can be in different place, right? So, it, in these are the ways that we use the temporary situation. We use the star verb. Okay, guys. Now I will open you ten minutes uh, to ask me about these topics which we learned.